a six-seater single-engine plane parked where no plane was ever meant to go. The plane crashed a few minutes after takeoff, so its fuel tanks are still full. Far is advised that there has been a fuel spill and you can smell fuel in the area. They've deemed the area safe now so we can go in and have a look. So we've been given permission by the police investigating officers to have a look at the plane to uh, see what's involved with the recovery. So we're just going to have a quick look around and see what we can do. You don't see a lot of planes. We do see the odd one, but the wings are going to have to be removed obviously to transport on the public roads. Looks like the whole front end of the motor and propeller is actually um, around a tree here. So trying to get it away without doing any more damage to it for the investigation will be a bit of a challenge as well. For this job, Spoonie's called in another veteran towie, Ross, who's been dealing with difficult recoveries for over 20 years. Definitely a miracle. It just blows me mind. It's uh, pretty full on. Today, the towies will be working alongside an expert team from AMS, Aircraft Maintenance Specialists, led by this bloke, Mark. Um, I don't have an issue with this. We'll get it around this, no worries at all. This tree won't be a problem. We're going to remove some of the fence sections and a couple of posts. We've been talking to the owners of the property there and they've, uh, they're happy for that to happen as long as we fix it back up the way it was. Next up, the towies need to empty the plane's fuel tanks. Hey guys, we're just pumping fuel, so just be aware, please. As usual, the Clayton's team has come prepared with a portable pump and 44 gallon drums. Out on the street, the cavalry's arrived. Clayton's have over 150 vehicles in their fleet and they take pride in having the right machine for any job. Today, Spoonie's called for the 12-tonne Manitou telehandler, which is small enough to get into the backyard, but also strong enough to lift out the 1.2-tonne plane. So we're gonna have a go at trying to lift the, lift the plane up. We've got the engineers doing the rigging. They work and work on these planes and dismantle them and put them back together and reservice them. If we come a little bit here, it might rotate off the tree. Now that the propeller's off the ground, the AMS engineers can safely remove it. I think you're sucking in it a bit. When we lift this plane, we've got to spin it around a bit, do some manoeuvring. So we've got some ropes attached to the basically four corners of the plane, the two wings, the front and rear. So I'm just sucking in. Just keep it going while I can. Yeah, it's going around. He's going around. This is tricky stuff. One wrong move on the controls and Ross could stack the plane into a house. Watch that house over here. Do a bit of a spin now and we'll see how we go. The hardest part is actually getting these blokes to rotate the right direction at the right time, you know, but we don't want it to swing around and hit the house. So after it's just come in at 150 k's an hour and missed the house, we don't want to hit it now, do we? If, if he was to go back and, and steer that way, as he goes back, it might take it away from here. We're going to have to spin it around, being very careful not to hit anything else. Now the actual tail section of this plane is not damaged, so we want to be very careful that we don't do any more damage to the tail of the, of the plane, especially on trees or hitting the house, and also people on the ground being careful no one's going to get hurt, squashed or cut. It'll clear. Right, right rotate. Yep. Yeah, might get close to these again, but I'll see how we go. Pull a little bit down on the tail. Okay. Right out. Just watch the house. Okay, the roof's about half a meter off the plane. Okay, we've got to watch that wing over there. We're all right over here. We're good over here. Yeah, well, we got it out of the bush here, all right. So, uh, yeah, we'll just pull these wings off and we've got a heap of helpers here now. So, it's uh, yeah, it's not going to take us long, hopefully. What we've done, we've lifted the uh, aircraft off the trees and sat it on some stands. The engineers are now working on the plane to uh, 
safely remove the wings without any more damage. Apparently the plane is going to be repaired. So uh, we're trying to do what we can to minimise any more damage to the aircraft. While the AMS mechanics get to work, the towies tidy up the site and install temporary fencing to fill the hole left by the crash. Then it's all hands on deck to separate the wings <laughs> from the fuselage. Are we good? Yeah, yeah. Coming down to the wheel. Righto. Leading edge forward. Don't scratch the peg. No. Do not scratch the paint. Don't scratch the paint. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's expensive Righto. paint. Other wing. Okay. Going back some more. Back right, down. down on the gear. Nose down. Watch your back, guys, on the mounted two. Just don't hurt yourself there. We've got the wings removed. We're going to pick the rest of the fuselage up with the Manitou two and uh, reverse up the hill. Going to make him lean that way a bit so he can get away from here, hopefully. You can see that we're in a bit of a tight spot here. At the driveway, you can see it's overhanging with trees and it's a bit of a tight fit. So you can watch this. I'm going to go back and spot people. Ross and Spoony are facing yet another challenge, getting the plane's fuselage up the driveway without causing any further damage. It's amazing how this plane got in here. Now we've got to get it out of there, you know. What he's hoping to do, if you can pull down on the tail, get under this tree. But he's going to lean this way. He's going to lower it down. You're going to come down. Marbox. You're right. Go straight. Yep. You want to come down a bit? We can clear there. Might need to go up a little bit so the tail clears over there. This whole operation has been a real challenge for Ross's skills. Not that he would ever admit to being tested. Well, that was pretty easy, wasn't it? It's amazing what, what we can do when we've got the right gear. Once we get it on the trailer here, Booney will be towing it uh, back to the uh, AMS's hangar. Fancy waking up and doing this job today. You never know with the towies life, I tell you. I was in the workshop working on a new truck, and next minute I'm out in the paddock, Ooh. suburbia, Ooh. picking up a plane. Uh, how good is it, they like to get this out uh, all in a day? You know, the people in their backyard uh, and the insurance and all that sort of stuff, they're, they're stoked, they're, uh, job done, in and out, and uh, it's worked well.